Hello, this is my first video with a new microphone, so I hope it comes out alright. Um, yes, so this video is going to be about uh, Google Chrome uh, browser, uh, which is located over here. Uh, let me just get rid of the sound recorder. Um, if I click on it, it can open. It's quite quick at opening. Um, I'm not sure why mine, my home page is that, but never mind. Um, so this is it. It's a very clean interface. Uh, lots of web browsing space here. And you've got your bookmarks toolbar here, like in lots of other browsers. And you'll notice there are not many buttons at all, actually. Uh, there's one main button, which is this one here which is um, where you get most of your options uh, but then there's also back, forwards and reload um, then there's, if you click the little world button here you get uh, verifications, encryptions and um, site inf other site information um, and over here you've got an option to have a new tab a new window a new incognito window, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Then you have this nice option to cut, copy or paste. So if you're if you've not got a mouse connected, um, so you're unable to right click. Uh, so say you're on a tablet PC or whatever, then you can just go like this, just highlight whatever, click over here or tap over here if you're on a tablet and just select copy or paste or cut or and I spelt YouTube wrong but never mind um, as you saw there Google Instant works very quickly and well so I'll t do another test here um, uh, for YouTube uh, yes it's very quick I mainly want to take down but never mind it's very quick uh, even with Google Instant off uh, it's still um, very fast, so if I type in YouTube and then click enter, it's still a very fast browser. Um, another feature I like about Chrome is how there's lots of sort of animated sort of um, transition. So if I click new tab up here, um, you see it's kind of flies out and flies back when you have a new tab, when you close the tab, sorry. Um, over here we have other bookmarks which is imported from whichever other browsers we're using um, mine hasn't been updated for a long time so these are all really old so I haven't actually um, I don't usually use these sites anymore um, and then depending on how organized your bookmarks are you've got the bookmarks manager which for me is just terrible because I do not organize my bookmarks in any way so for me it's just a big mess So, but obviously if you had organized bookmarks like I'm trying to get on top of with the browser I use most which is Firefox then it is a very uh, intuitive way to browse your bookmarks and then oh, oops, sorry let me just close this uh, close Uh, and then over here in the menu again we have the option to zoom in on a web page um, also we have this lovely full screen view here uh, which is literally a full screen the whole screen is just fill all over it uh, even when you hover over the front you don't get the little bar um, which comes down uh, you just get this little thing here asking you to exit full screen so it really is a true full screen um, mode which is that's really nice um, over here we have find print and then under tools we've got um, all your sort of standard things that you get in the tools and other browsers like extensions or add-ons task manager clear um, history whatever then there's the bookmarks manager then you can view your history, it's a bit like um, bookmarks, only uh, it's with history. 
Um, then you've got your down list, which is the same as again, uh, all pretty much the same style. Um, here we have options, which is basically just personalizing it how you want it to run. Uh, there's quite a few options that you can choose from, so it's very nice to work with. Um, then here's the about box, which is telling me that Google Chrome is up to date with version 8.0.553.224, and then it's got the copyright and everything. And over here we also have the help, which brings up the Google Chrome help tab, which is, I do believe, very easy to navigate, which is nice. Um, we also have exit, which I'm not going to click right now. And other things to note are if you are on the International Music School Library Project um, here and you want to add that to your favourites, you've got this nice star button here, like in other browsers, uh, where you can choose the folder, um, edit the details, um, move it. Also, another nice feature is, uh, let me just find a piece of music to um, download, is that when you download, when you're, uh, yeah, when you're downloading something, it comes up with this lovely um, arrow over to the um, side here, let's just wait for it to load. Uh, obviously, sorry if it do this doesn't work. I'm not sure if it's going to open in the browser or actually download the file. I know it's just uh, using the built-in thingy. Um, okay. Well, basically what it does when you're downloading something is a little arrow will sort of swipe down on the left-hand side of your screen and you'll be able to then uh, save or discard and then run it once it's finished downloading. Um, yeah, so that's it for Google Chrome. Um, obviously the exit button exits it. And that's it. Um, but just one question, if anybody knows of a free screen recorder that will allow me to record the audio from my microphone as well as the screen at the same time, that would be great because at the moment I'm using the sound recorder as, at the same time which is sometimes a bit dodgy and out of time so that would be very helpful um, so that's it thank you for watching and goodbye <laughs>